God and the people understand where they're going and who they are, then the church must go on. I want you to understand what is going on. Come on, come on, sing, sing. i 
moon, God to moon. Every you create stone, you got to moon. And they strong one, you create stone. The stone of Babylon. Hey, I said, take your great stone, you got to moon. Come on, church. This is the great stone.
everyone should rise in the respect of the word of God. No one should be seated when the word of God is read. Everyone should stand on your feet when the word of God is read. Everyone. There are many deep inside this place. Why don't you look at? Come on, read the word of God. Read it again. Read it one more time. I want it ready, stay in your system. Read it again. I'm going to make you read it again. Listen to me. This message is called Point of Contact. Point of Contact. Point of Contact. Because some of you, if you need to connect and get a point of contact with somebody, your life would be like this. But because you have connected, you have got in contact with somebody who you're not supposed to get in contact with. You have put a wrong garment. Ah, oh, Jesus. Somebody you lose your child because of wrong contact. Somebody lay their hand upon your belly. It is a contact to your pregnant belly. And you lose the pigment because it is a point of contact. One more time. If I am able to touch his body, I shall be whole. Have a seat. Take it on the road. Hold on a minute, Let's go. I want to talk today about the point of contact. The point of contact. You see? There was a situation. There was a situation that occurred with a woman. That of a situation. And she had no rescue. She had nobody to help her with her problem. Her situation was arm and dangerous to her health, to her wealth, to her strength. For prosperity, she searched all over, and I could imagine she go and kind of queen, brother Paul, she go and kind of queen, sister Mary, she go and kind of queen, Mr. Minister Johnny, she go kind of queen, brother Andrew, but all that she was connected with, she never got to connect with Jesus. Point of contact. As you are growing up in this world, there are wickedness that is all over this world. No, the world is not wicked. The people in the world is very wicked. They have all different types of motives. They have all different types of things in their brains. And they come around you. And you around you. But I come to tell you something. If you're sorry for Magadag, Magadag, I'm going to turn you on and bite you. Hey, if you jump out of the frying pan, you might drop in a fire. Amen. Hear me very well. You don't take. The children spread and cast into dogs. It's by the selling. Oh, you going to take your pick the food and give it to dog. You are in the house of the Lord. Your salvation is very important. Get into your life. Amen. Hallelujah. We can just increase. Man no life. Man these days. The whole world. Take on wickedness. A lot of things is going on. People get bad mind against each other. Yes. People are working type of mobia. All type of manipulation against each other. But I come to tell you something today. I come to open your eyes. You better open your eyes before you get tricked. Lord God Almighty. Because 
Jesus and I'm not even in the garden. But he is a trick. Do you know it was a point of contact? How did Eve get caught by the devil? It was a point of contact. You see, if I was in contact with you, me and you would not talk. If I never in contact with you, you could never give me food. If I never in contact with you, you could not call me food. If I never in contact with you, we would not do business together. But because me and you get contact, you feel like say that you can't do me as you like. I you see me a prosper. You don't know me a prosper. You start to backmine me. You start to witchcraft me. Only because a point of contact. Amen. You have to be careful. Who you get in contact with? There are some people that get contact with witch. Warlocks. Wizards, and they don't even know that is that they are doing. You hear me very well. There are some things that is happening in this world today. If you go down in the Bible and you look at what Samson, Lord Jesus, I want, I want, find Samson for me. I think he's in churches. Let me, let me call I'm going to show you something. I want to show you something. Judges 16, verse 4 to verse 21. We are reading from verse 4 to 21. Come on, rise on your feet and read this. Come on, one, two, three, read. Say that my 
my strength like this. You know what she do? She put Samson in a position to be powerless. And say, Samson, Samson, the Philistine is up on you. Samson, Samson, the Philistine is up on you. There are many people that beside you. They are pushing you down in a gutter. And when they've got them say, hey, Jennifer, the devil is against you. But I then set it up like that because of point of contact. The less you connect with people, the less you connect with people and tell them your business. The less you contact with people and make them know your business. It's the more better for you. You mean very well. Because when night comes at dark time, that's when the devil room, the devil in the dark I lash you. Left, right and center, east, west, north and south. And you wonder, how did you get there? Stand on your feet for a minute. Continue to read it. Now, there were men lying in wait, abiding with her in the chamber. And she said unto him, The ministers be upon this time, and he break the wheat as a thread and tone is broken when he touched the fire. So his strength was not gone. Hold on. When she said the Philistine is up on your Samson. <laughs> You know the Philistine that was in the closet. They was in the closet. Lock up, read Bible. Woman of God, man of God. They were in the closet. Lock up. That means they couldn't see him no chaos spiritually me. He could not see them because his eyes been blind with love. Yeah. We'll finish in clothing. Continue. Behold, God has come to me and told me lies. Now tell me, I pray thee, where will thou fight us with Hold on. So she asked Samson the first time. Samson, tell her a lie. And she called Philistine by Samson. No, she didn't get it work. She take her time and come back round. And friend up Samson again. Lord God, it sometimes it's like you see the enemy. He know how to sneakily come around you. And he know how to touch your button. He know how to plug you. And when he plug you, you just give up. So she said, Samson, you tell me lie. You, 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 you hide your strength for me. You know how much me love you? You have me shungo longo. You have me beggy beggy. You have me shaka shaka. But guess what? He was really a beggy beggy. Because when he done with, when she done with Samson, Samson will become a beggar. You have me very well. You have to take yourself out of begging position. And put yourself in a dominion position. Anyone that you're going to be in contact with, they must come elevate you. They must come promote you. They must come lift you up. No matter nobody come contact with you. We can't do nothing for you. Continue. And he said unto her, If they bind me fast with new ropes that were never occupied, then shall I be weak as me as a other man. You see how much time she had gone? She go again. And she go to Samson again. One more time. Telling Samson, Lord man, I need your strength. I need to know where the strength lies. Samson, tell her where the strength is again. She put back the Philistine again in the closet. Now, some of we, we stubborn. One thing we get away with, and we want to learn two and three times. You better learn. If Samson didn't learn, Samson wouldn't die with the Philistine. Then. But because he never learned, he thought that the Philistine them love him. He thought that that woman love him, but he never understand. If you're sorry for my dad, then I'm gonna turn you on and bite you. Continue to read. The night I went on to the new road, and now came there with and said unto him, The Philistine be upon the Samson, and there were men in the way abiding in the chamber. And bring them from off like a train. One more time again. Samson, tell her another lie. And after telling her another lie, she come back again. 
Call the Philistine and put them in a closet again. And say, Samson, the Philistine is up on you. And they are the people of God Almighty. Samson raise up again with power. And Philistine have to run. Some of them have to drop. Some of them dead. But Samson didn't give his weakness. What ever happened? The woman, Delilah, was a persistent woman. And she decides she not give up. If you see she not give up, give up, no man. Why is that wicked to yourself, man? Amen. Give up. You know, see from your shot. You want to tell me, sir, God, don't give you wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. You want to tell me, sir, that you don't understand that somebody tried to tell you three times and you still sit up in a house and hands and gloves up with them and laugh with them like, say, them come to celebrate you when they come to destroy your life. Amen. That's why some of you, man, sit up in a house with woman and never destroy your life while you still stay there. And some of you, woman, sit up in a house with man and never destroy you. And you did it and you did because you now put no, 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 no stoppage to it, you now put no block to it. You now said enough is enough. It's either you come this way with me or you go that way. So you stand up there and you take all in that boat. But as we read down, we want to show you how Samson did not wake up and he has given his weakness. And you will see what will happen to Samson. Continue to read. The Come on, read. And she crossed his with the pain and said unto him, The Philistine be upon his son, say, and he awake out of his sleep, and went away with the pain of the beam and with the way. And she said unto him, How can thou say, I love thee? When I am is not with me. Thou hast warned me these three times, and hast not told me where with thy great strength lies. Hold on. I was watching a movie yesterday. And while I was watching the movie, this woman, the man beat her. And you know why the man beat her? Because the mother of the man not like the daughter in law. And so she tell lie. But the daughter-in-law and the daughter-in-law I try to defend herself and the woman continue to tell lie and the daughter-in-law and the man come home and he whoop in the hand and he shot her some box when he done it take off his belt and he beat her point of contact and said after that you know what happened he come back around and he said baby I'm going to leave after she pack up the bag I don't leave. I love you. I'm not going to do it again. I'll find him knee. In God and him beg. And him beg and him beg. And that she just connect with him again. You see that contact thing there? You see the point of contact, how dangerous thing. You see when you move from something and you disconnect yourself from something. You can't go back to connect yourself again. You have to learn. To disconnect yourself and move on. Amen. But some of us, we like to wallow in our mess. Wallow in our mom, in our vomit. You see, when you your vomit and you kill your spit it out, that becomes rubbish and garbage. You have to don't look at it again. Amen. Who's going to read? Don't worry. Continue. <laughs> And it came to pass when she pressed him daily with her word and her name, so that his soul was vexed unto death, that he told her all of his heart and said unto her, They have not a razor come upon my head. You hear that? He that answered unto God from my mother's soul. Man of God is unshaven. Man of God is unshaven. Man of God, man of God, man of God, no listen. And be like unto another man. Man of God, listen. Hear me very well. You have some people who oppress you. Figure about your business. You start one little business. I 
la voix ça vous dit dans le business. Ah, la personne qui est en contact avec quelqu'un qui va acheter quelque chose pour vous. And all of a sudden, you and them start a conversation. That's a point of contact. And then now you start leg your mouth. Lord God Almighty about your business. And then when you leg your mouth, the woman they start to say about you. Or where she come from. Or who she thinks she be. But she have this and she have that. But I'm going to paralyze her. Yes. Let me show you something. Do you know that the most poor they are gone, gone in a, in a age of shop? Do you know the most witchcraft come out of age of shop? Do you know the, the amount of point of contact that come out of age of shop? And barber shop. You have some people who specialize in going to the, the age of shop to buy the ear that come from people head. To use it to enhance their destiny. That means they are taking away your destiny from you. They don't have to know you. All they need is something to use as a point of contact, woman of God. You can get your ear on your head. Let me use it in a graveyard. Let me use it for parchment paper. And then steal your destiny. You better be careful who you connect with. Have some people they don't need to see you all they need to do is to go to Facebook Lord Jesus and them take off a picture of you and all they need to do is to take that picture and take it into the coven and them and them demons down there and they begin to use your picture your photograph against you and when night time come them come in your sleep come test you Lord Jesus you better know what you do before you put up a picture bring the blood of Jesus against every witchcraft worker a point of contact worker Continue. Come up this one, for he has shown me all his heart. Then the lords of the business came up unto her and brought money in their hand. And she made it upon her knees. And she called for a man. And she caused him to shave off the seven locks of his head. And she began to afflict him. And his strength went from him. Do you hear that? After she weakened him. And, him, and, and, and his soul going up pain, torment in the side. Let me tell this woman that we weakness then. Some of us, we fall in our love so much that we don't even know if we keep our mouth shut. We pack everything. And so when two heads in bed and them start to laugh, skin their teeth, then they know what to keep back. Then they know what to talk from when we talk. So some to let out the secret. And then you know what happened. The woman make a phone call. I said, Philistine, he tell me weakness. Let him call a man a barber. She don't want to do it herself because she want to make sure she the weakness come up on Samson very well. So she called somebody and she said, take off of this straw and I hear upon the head. And she trim him on the head. And then, she, you know, she don't, she don't go to do and call it because she money. Where she supposed to call it? You know how much people call it money for your head? You know how much people are right on top of your destiny? You know how much people I live life because of you. You know what people steal your star. Steal your brother's star, your sister's star. Your uncle and your niece's star. You know what you them I live life off of you. Because they don't collect money. Put on top of your head. And them say, do I die? But them now die poor. And then you have to die poor for them to reach. Point of contact. The Philistine is a fire. And he woke out of his sleep and said, I, I will go out as the other times before and shake myself. And he wished not that the Lord was departed from him. That time God departed from him. God departed from him. 
Because he's going to tell the woman a weakness. And after he tell the woman a weakness, and the woman says, Philistine up on you. And he said, I'm going to go because I feel my power see you here. So he said, God, like you at a time. And I will deal with the case. When he goes to her, no power. Ah, no power. Ah, no power. Some of us, we said, the devil and knock him out. And because we think that we in Christ, and we think we have the Holy Ghost, when the devil come here, I go to her. But nothing now happened. Ah, nothing now happened. Look a bit more. Read. Read on. But the Philistines took him and put out his eyes and brought him down to Gaza and bound him with fetters of brass and he did grind in the prison house. Just what I mean. Yeah, you may first pluck out the item. Vigil. Anytime the devil will come at you, the first thing that he do. Is to put a scale over your face. I'm, I'm moving it in Jesus' name. Amen. He put a scale over your eyes. I'm blind you. I remove it from your face in Jesus' name. Amen. And when he blind you, you can't see. So anything in tell if you do not do it. Anywhere knock you about your God. Because he said, you, you, you used to have a thing in the way, then the other said, take the fool a little further. So because you become fool under this kind of power. Lord God of the Philistine, you can't even to do nothing because you have been captured. You are powerless because Samson got something the Holy Ghost and there was nothing. I said, listen to me very carefully. If you don't put your trust in God, if you don't grow in God, if you don't come under humility in God, when time the devil attack you, are you going to say, ah, you going to get nothing? Are you going to say, ah, you going to get nothing? Because you never take time out to realize that you are walking with the enemy. Continue. How be it the hair of his head began to grow again after he was shaven? Look, 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 how, look how Samson now have to get away. And many of us don't get away from the point of contact of people until when you're dead. You have to die first. Death be a portion. Because you never listen. Read on. Then the laws of the Philistines gathered them together for to offer a great sacrifice unto they done their God and to rejoice for this. Hold on. After the woman Delilah and then give the Philistine Samson. Right? Who do you think that should have celebrated? Who do you should have given back Samson to? Not the woman. Delilah. Delilah. Well, look who they are you. Look who they are going to Samson to. Look who they are turning over Samson to. Dear God, one, one demon, one devil, that's who they are turning over Samson to. Read. So to offer a great sacrifice unto the God, their God, and to rejoice for they said, Our God has delivered Samson, our enemy, into our hand. And they are saying that their God has delivered Samson their enemy into their hands. Hear me very well. They are very right at what they are saying. Because their God, their God has entered into the woman and used the woman to take down Samson and then they remove the glory from she and then turn it rightfully back to their God and now they are going to sacrifice the man to their God. I said a fool and their money shall depart. I'm coming to the end of that scripture. When the people saw him, they praised their God for they said, Our God has delivered into our hands our enemy and the destroyer of our country. We slew many of us. Why stop right there? Ali. Why stop there a little bit? Now all the people go and rejoice. You see, if you want to know your friend, farm drunk and lay down on the side. You see much of them kick you. You ever see a man yet when they drink rum? Or a woman when they drink rum? I know nice people be with her. All the contacts and all the privilege and all the benefits they have. Wait till them start drink rum. Wait till them start to say, I'm not drunk. 
and the bone, the dead bone, get connected with the dead man. And do you know what the dead man raise up and come alive again? Only a point of contact. Do you know that my sweat that is in this towel, Lord Jesus, if I only do like this, as a point of contact, can I do like that? It connect. And I get it. It can be the end of her. Just a point of contact. As, she, as I go with her sweat, it is enough to release a spell upon our life. Let, let, me, let me go further. Adam and Eve in the garden. When Adam and Lord was in the garden, everything was all right. But as God put him to sleep and take out the ribs, and, 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 and make a woman, and when the woman, when he looked at the woman, he kept connected. Flesh of my word, flesh. Go on after me, one bone. But look what the bone do. Look what the bone do. The bone, Lord God, sell him out. Thus you shall eat. 
So the favorite food of the devil is dust, man. Where am I come out of? From the dust of the earth, God created man and said, You are dust. And from dust you be made out of. And dust you shall return if you don't live right to God. And stop going up with the wrong source. Your body shall become an eating permit for the devil. Or eating the dumpling, rice or banana. Anything the devil takes you as, he's going to eat you. Hear me very well. It is time. It is time for the church to wake up. It is time for the church to wake up. I remember a time I have a young woman. Why not be woman for me? But through me as a young boy, I love big woman. So we decide to start dating this woman. I'm going to show you something how the spirit of division work. I was in a park in Jamaica. I was a young little boy. And I saw a man was reading a palm. He had me very well, he was reading palm. And as he was reading the palm, I go up to the man and stand up so. And the man said, come here young man. And we go up to him and he hold up my hands and he said to me, say, you know, say I'm going to meet one man. Listen to me, the man say, you know you're going to meet one big man. The man is a reader, man. And the man tell me, you're going to meet one big man. Me in the park. And by the time we walk about five trees down the road, me meet a big man. Young little boy. Me have one red kerchief, me never forget it in a park downtown. And me spread out the kerchief like me a big man. And tell her, have a seat. And me saw me nice meeting you. You saw the devil that set me up. Me have a show you how the devil set me up. Now she a big woman. Me have a studio I try to help myself. Because me not no mother nor no father. But me get connected to a woman. And me get the tour away from my destiny. Me a new man talk and she tell me this Saturday. So I must come, come back to the park come meet her. I understand you man. I want someone almost bigger than me. Hey, hey. When we go to market today, I carry the market back then. Then she asked me if she catch the bus stop, I come home with her. Me say yes, me and the right boy. So me and the bus with her with the two back then. And we reach a water house, which far the woman live. And we go in the house, and we go in and we see one big man like me. Mr. Batawadish, she said, over yourself, take off your shoes and lay down my bed. Lord Jesus, me a young little boy, and me feel good. Lord God Almighty, come here for your first right. So me lay down the bed and me take off my shoes and put up my foot. Like me had done in Jamaica and said dapper. But let me tell you something, all dapper will fall without Jesus. Yeah, yeah. Hear me very well. You better not dapper in a God. Lord God, woman of God, let me tell you something. Lord Jesus, me say you man cook and give me. And Lord, man in the night, you man start to touch me up. And try to tell me that me can't do nothing. Then time there, me don't really do nothing no great. But me will try something. Lord God. God Almighty, I me live with the woman. Me left for me there. Stop that studio. I live in a human house. Mercy. Point of contact. Mercy, oh. Mercy, mercy. Me a trifle. Me just go take some stuff. To try get myself in a music. To push myself. But now the woman did tour my destiny. I'm a God of woman. You're a God of Don't stop. Lord Jesus, man of God. And I'm telling you something. You know what happened? One day, the woman couldn't take it no more because I didn't walk. And the woman said to me, You have to go look walk, you know, you are a young man. You have to go look walk. And I couldn't find no work. Look how the devil has set me up. I meet one boy down the road. Meet a young man. No, that is another point of contact. He tells me about the place where they make garments. He said, I want people there to work. And he said, like, if you come with me, I can show you how to hustle. Lord Jesus, me hustling me thief. Lord God Almighty. So look how my destiny the tour from just one connection. One up, up one spoil up, spoil the whole bunch. So we go up to the bar, so the bar, give me the walk. Every time we get the walk, the man starts showing me off the thief. 
When done, Mercy. you may look for me behind the bench. I try and take off my clothes, you know. And then I pull on the clothes that bang up on me. I dress myself with about five, six shirts. Mercy. I'm buying some brief and all type of thing. Where am I been there making a living in a living in a factory? And Lord, I put on my clothes back. And then I walk out at lunchtime like nothing happened. Me get extra big so. Lord Jesus, like, like life is good with me. That time you know see what happened. A thief in spirit has been cast on me. Because me get connected to the wrong person. Yes. But two weeks after me and him come out. He looked like they realized I'm a thief. And then we'll have panic. But they never know I have a confederate. Uh-huh. They never know I have yes. So when they will have panic, I go so. I just thought like nothing happened. And me gone. But when the devil has planned for you, no care when you go around some things and you think you escape. If I have a way to find a way to come around to you. And if you don't have Jesus and you, you can't escape. Yes. Uh-huh. The time I never had Jesus in me. But Jesus was still protecting me. Amen. So I go down town. And we go sell them in the market to a woman. We are sell stuff in the coronation market. And the woman go put them up on stall. Me tell her not put them up, Mr. Miss. I take me to them from the workplace. Let them pass and see them, they might lock you up. You see them are stealing goods. You see why you have some people in the Lord God Almighty all over the world. I said them love to buy stealing goods. Lord God Almighty. So look how she ever get connected. Because she buys stolen goods. Lord God Almighty, you saw the one connection. I connect people. You saw the one point of contact. I connect people. And nobody would have known where the root is. Yes. There is a root. There's a root. So somebody a pass, one of the fast workers. I know the boss a pass, you know. And one of the workers. Who me and them a good friend. Who me and them talk all the time. And then see the thing for the woman things and go for the boss. Eh? Them see the things them don't be a sell. And them type of things they not sell in a Jamaica. They put their bill on in the factory to sell them a foreign. Yes. So the boss go down with police. After the boss go down with police. Then lock up the woman. Hey. You see who get locked up now? The woman. When the woman get locked up, the woman say, Me not die in a jail, so me not talk. <laughs> now some people say they will defend you. When trouble come. But when trouble come, they move them out by you. They say they will never leave you. And they will never forsake you. But when trouble come, run it, man. The God left you. God left you. That is how some people be. So then the maximum man who said these things, if you don't talk, you're not prison. You know what the woman described because she don't know me near. Come on, before the eye. That's all she used and described. The person who sell me, the young boy will sell me. He have a funny eye. Immediately the boss said, Me know who? If we never come in contact, you don't know me, I funny. <laughs> eh? Let me never, let me never hands and gloves up with you. You don't know me business. It's because it's a point of contact. Me and you have things going on. You Lord Jesus, so you know what's on me eyes for me. So we can't work like nothing happened. When we go into the workplace, when they come to me collect the pay, Lord Jesus, I'm telling you about 50 something dollars a week, you know. That no can't do nothing. The boss tell me what's still over for it. My check soon come. That is what some people tell some of us, sit down. Wait, everything's so alright. Not that they might plan your disaster. They might plan your trouble. They might plan your frustration. They might plan your death. They might plan you. So you know what happened? About 30 minutes we sit down there. When we look, we see some big neck man come in. You know some police uniform there. Lord Jesus, and them, them know me good enough, they come and say, get up, TV boy. Ah. <laughs> one of them bam in the head one time. Bam! TV boy, get up. Mr. Wamidu, come here. That thief! Grab, warm up, sir. 
put on and come for me. Don't ask them, child. Show me all over. Thief, we go down and see woman. You do my name, I'm, I'm, I'm. It's just like Adam and Eve. So, Mr. Mr. Me Woman, here I am. Mr. You sure of me? Here I am. Mr. You know me? Are you see for the height? Jesus. So, all along, the only thing she took and marked me was what? My height. That's why we tell people be careful when you put on tattoo. Be careful when you mark, mark up yourself. Be careful when you do. Because it, it, do you know that even when you go to the US and anyway, you have tattoo on you, you have mark on you. They might ask you where the mark be, where the mark on you there. They mark you with something. Because if they be blind and they feel when they feel it and, and they know it, they don't know you. And they locked me up. One week I'd be there in a prison. My brother, if you have carried, call on you and dump it, come give me. Because that's all you could afford. Call on you and dump it every day. And I'm dumping on Call on you for a week. You hear me very well? And there's some man up on the corner who know me. I know some is a little DJ. And then go to the boss and tell the boss, listen, let go of the They're going to come in the Kodi the time. Say, let him go. I'm sure we're going that. Say, so, no, let him go. We have a deal with you. Let him go. Come here, the DJ up on the corner. And, 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 and the boss man, free them. So tell the police them, let him go. Don't charge him. A sudden escape. In order for you to be escaped from the point of contact. You need Jesus. Amen. Because even though they have talked to the boss and the boss has released me from jail, but I see it already soon. I see it already soon. Because after that, we start got prison in a week. Because the, the, the seed of prison teeth in now we come upon my life because I get in contact with you with a woman we are done so look man I'm the first person we get in contact with do you know it's who? the palm reader reading my life and it tore me tell me about a woman and this woman come into my life send me to look up my teeth me know thief send somebody a jail. Then the somebody send me back a jail. And then he's a thief from the time of the time. Time of the time. Time of the time. And wasn't that before? I was a little young man who loved to walk up and do a studio. And do recording. And sing all type of songs. But all of a sudden, one connection. One connection. Now what do you think of him? It's a curse has been released upon me. Yes. And then no, if we never caught the curse and brought the curse, my children, children, children would have carried a curse. Yes. Then we are going to find your picking your teeth, your picking your tell lie. You think me I do all type of thing? You don't understand that it's a curse. You never understand that you start something down the road 20 years ago. That's why when time we had the deliverance, we call a thing called the head and toe deliverance. There are certain deliverance I, I don't even do in the church, you know. There are some deliverance that is only me and my wife do that kind of deliverance. When you come, we have a document that we give to you in 36 pages. And we send you home. I have to go study that page, that 36 page, and answer all my questions. Oh, Jesus. 
But the church, I'm trying to get the church to grow to that level. I can't do what I want to do because the church needs to grow. The people need to understand that we keep this out here. You need to get on your knees and pray and keep your eyes focused on Jesus. Amen. Those times, I have to go from way back in your grandparents and have to dig out some things and correct some things, correct some errors, correct some things. But you have some people they are not willing to do the sacrifice. Like me, that lady come to me and she go and pay gathering for $30,000. And she come to me and I give me $100 to cast out the demon and bring the cause. Wickedness. Wickedness. So you give the woman $30,000. You give the devil. $30,000 for work for you. And you come to profit. Because profit now have nothing for you. Profit now no life, you no family. So profit must break the curse for 50 cent. That's how we disrespect God. But when we were connecting with the source, profit never did it. When we were connecting with the source, God never did it. Because God no mix up in a mess. God no connected with things that is mess. Amen, amen. The church will stand. 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 Come on, rise on your feet and give God glory. Seven. Just going to put a piece in it. First King, thirteen, verse seven. And the king said unto the man of God, Give Come home with me. And the king said unto the man of God, Come home with me. Listen this. And refresh thyself, and I will give thee a reward. Listen. And the man of God said unto the king, If thou wilt give me half thine house, I will not go in with thee. Neither will I eat bread nor drink water in this place. This is the old prophet and the new prophet. Listen. For so was he charged me by the word of the Lord, saying, Eat no bread nor drink water. Nor God warned him. Nor God said, I have sent you out. No near me, near me. No licky, licky. No get in contact with nobody. I am a soldier. Green. Nor turn again by the same way that thou camest. So he went another way and returned not by the way that he came to Bethel. Now there dwelt an old prophet in Bethel. A old prophet, a old prophet, old prophet. Some people who think they've been a ministry long time before you. Some people who got God lay aside long time and they believe that they know more than you, so they can't tell you anything. Read. And the sons came and told him all the works that the man of God has done that day in Bethel. The words which he had spoken unto the king. Then they, yes, asked, they told also to the father. I'm son. Somebody got talk and whisper to the old prophet. And say, you know, no way you're the, 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 the new prophet down the swad. Something you don't listen, don't listen, don't deliver some people. Continue. And their father said unto them, What way went he? For his sons had seen what way the man of God went. So his son them know where the prophet can. If old, old prophet asks him, son, where part him turn? Where turn? Continue. Which came from Judah. And, Bad mind. And he said unto his son, saddle me the ass. So they saddled him the ass. You know what I'm saying? He said, go for the ass. Saddle up the ass. Never find him. God stop use me. And I use him. And I'm here the one prophet. Never find him. And went after the man of God. And, and he went after the man of God. And found him sitting under an oak. And find him sitting down. And said unto him, As the always sent him. I doubt the man of God that came from Judah. Is the, is the, is the, is the man of God that come from Judah? 
And he said, I am. He said, I am. Then he said unto him, Come home with me and eat bread. He said, Why tell the man for you? Come home with him and come eat. And God tell him, Sign of the eat and get in contact with nobody. But the whole king realized that he has gone. The anointing upon his life dead. And he said, Why want to get rid of the new king? And he Not said, prophet. I may not return with thee, nor go in with thee, neither will I eat bread nor drink water with thee in this place. For it was said to me by the word of the Lord, Thou shalt not, thou shalt eat no bread nor drink water there, huh? nor turn again to go by the way that thou camest. He said unto him, I am a prophet also as you. You know what Listen him now. Listen him after the prophet don't tell him. The new prophet don't tell him, say, listen, me don't want no association with you. Me don't eat with you. Me don't drink with you because God put me on a mission and on this way I go, hear him. But I'm an old prophet. That means if I tell him, say, I'm a senior prophet, I know more than you. So who you going to listen to? Either God or the senior prophet. Who you going to listen to? Come on, read. And an angel spoke unto me. He had a lie when tell the man. But an angel speak to him in the spirit of divination. The man lie. The prophet lie to the next prophet. Read. Say, bring him back with thee into thy house, that he may eat bread and drink water. Huh? But he lied unto him. He lied to him. So God said, I must bring him back to him house. To eat and drink. Look what I'm going to do to the new prophet when time he meet. Continue. So he went back with him and did eat bread in his house and drank water. He come back at the old prophet yard and him eat and drink. And it came to pass, as they sat at the table, that the word of the Lord came unto the prophet that brought him back. And he cried unto the man of God that came from Judah, saying, Thus says the Lord, for as much as thou hast disobeyed the man yeah, yeah, of the Lord. After the man don't eat and drink, you swear to I walk out. Listen, you swear to After the man don't eat and drink, after the you new prophet, the food to eat and drink, you swear to prophesy no over the, the man. Because after him eat, God depart from the new prophet because he disobeyed God. And then God turn around and use the false prophet to prophesy death to him. Read it. And has not kept the commandment which the Lord thy God commanded. I am a prophesy now. But came his back and has eaten bread and drunk water in the place. And I tell the man, sign up. I tell the man to eat and drink. You know what I'm not telling man. Of the which the Lord did say to thee, eat no bread and drink no water. But I tell him, so eat it. He just said, God tell him, so he must eat. So I must say, no, God, he disobey God. Read. Thy carcass shall not come unto the sepulchre of Jesus Christ. Hear this. Read on. And it came to pass after he had eaten bread and had drunk wine, and it saddled for him the ass to wait for the prophet whom he had brought back. And when he was gone, a lion met him by the way and slew him. And his carcass was cast. Oh, God Almighty. And the ass stood. The church, if you don't learn today. And the lion also stood. If you don't learn today. That's what happened. The same one prophet that make him eat, then prophesy that the lion are going to him up. Because life and death is in your tongue. And him speak against the, the new prophet. By the new prophet who eats over the crossroad. A lion run out of the bush and near up the new prophet. And he get the new prophet on the road. Because that was his motive. All he needed is a point of contact. And he was not the person who did the contact. It was his son. His son saw what was going on. Go and tell him. And then he, he rise up with his anger. And he decided how could he come in town? Come prophesying more than me. Come and healing the sick more than me. How we come here raising dead more than me. How him this more than me. How him that more than me. Who he think he be. I will rise up against him. I will use something to take him down. But I tell you, if you are dopey, me a dopey conqueror. I will take you down by the blood of Jesus. I said no retreat, no surrender. I am a man of God. I am a 
prophet of the living God. I stand in the rights of God, in the revolution of God. The spirit of the Lord is rest upon me. This is a battlefield. Amen. Let me tell you. When I left, but since week I was telling someone, I think we left New York to come back to play a game. Okay. I don't come to play a game. Because there's a lot of luxury up here. What the Bible tells me, don't get distracted with what you are connected in. If you seek you first, the kingdom of heaven and all its righteousness and then everything else shall be added unto you because when you are run down some things or you can connect with something that you're not supposed to connect with or you think a peace and safety or some destruction or say hell is at your door very important and the sad thing about it is this I'm coming down the sad thing about it is this your anointing and your life become drain you have been coming to church but the anointing and your life has drained because you never take time out to connect with the right person I tell people that I don't connect with church and the church is the people. I connect with heaven and heaven release me to the people. You hear me very well? I don't connect to people. I connect to heaven and heaven release the people to me. And the people don't belong to me, the people belong to heaven. That's why all of you want to go to heaven. Because you belong to God. I only put over you to give your word and to instruct you so that all of you can go to heaven. Amen. And hear me very well. You have to learn to connect to heaven so that God can release you into a proper place where you can take good word you can sit on the ministry you can take word so that you can be able to grow because when the enemy buck you up when the devil meet you and start bombard you man of God you cannot do anything, why? because you never connected you never connect. You see me? Me connect to Bishop Errol Hall. And Bishop Errol Hall connect to his spiritual father. And his spiritual father connect to another spiritual father. And his spiritual father connect to another spiritual father. And another spiritual father. And if you check it out, it's, it's, it's hundreds of us down the line. Going down the line. So when you touch me, you are touching the rule of me. Because if you are God Almighty, your things are being easy. I am on the proper covering. I am standing on the power. I am a man of discipline. I am a man of order. I stand on the order. Amen. I connect with a source that hearing from God. And in order for you to hear from God, in order for you to reach power in God, you have to learn to connect properly. This is a source. This is where God put you. Connect yourself. Connect yourself. You run all over the place. Where are you going to look for? So God hide from you. So God don't dare so. God over there so. Lord God Almighty man. Lord Jesus, I hope you are helping somebody today. I am praying in the name of Jesus that you stand for righteousness, for sin is a reproach to our nation, but righteousness, exalt a nation, no matter 
with a pinky funky game. Let them be off with the word. The word of God is a lamp unto your feet and a light unto your path. Coming down. Times are getting me. Jesus. You know, much people have been getting attacked for a week. I'm telling you. Let the 
Don't you get public with Jesus? Just the M. Just the M. Try to connect with Jesus. I'm going to, I'm going to say something to you. Take it on go. No stop here. Just take it on go. Jesus is a worldwide power. Hear me very well. Let me take it one other little bit. The name of Jesus is a worldwide power. The name Jesus. When you say in the name of Jesus, it works for you and it works for everybody. Hear me very well. But there is another step on another level. There is another step for the gospel of Jesus Christ. I don't even ready to teach you all that. The gospel of Jesus Christ where you step into another level so you are not just you are not just operating in the name of Jesus but you know the, the meaning and the death of Jesus Christ <laughs> Jesus so some people just say in the name of Jesus but they don't understand so they don't know Lord Jesus and the third dimension in the Holy Ghost in the power and the hierarchy is the power of God the tool of his power the power that all understanding the power that work in me and you can't get that power Without you know the gospel of Jesus Christ. You don't know the gospel. You're not willing to sit down and learn and take gospel. You're not willing to be obedient and take gospel. So all you want to find the power that passes all understanding, the dunamis power that worketh in me. In order for you to do that, you have to know Jesus first. You have to know him. Then you have to know the gospel. Then you will be released in the dunamis power. There are some things I, I, I want to teach you. See. Let me tell you. Do you know that no man is God and live? Do you know that? Woman of God, do you know nobody is God and live? Moses said, I want to connect with God. God said, You can't connect with me. It's like your sin, you can't live. I'm going to pass somewhere by a bird in motion. When I pass and I turn the back, when I turn the back, you will see me. But you can't see me just so. Because the power, you can't deal with it. Do you know that me, and I want to work in me. You want me to tell you what in me? Not that the energy. I want to teach you about energy. You see what working through the Almighty God, through me is energy. Because if God stands up in front of me, so we can't take it. It is too powerful. He is too mighty. He is too great. So what is working through me is the energy of God. You know that we are telling the client, we want to teach you how to connect to energy. Huh? In the world, there are many people using energy through phone, telephone, all that kind of thing. Some kind of energy allow you to tap into Facebook and YouTube and social media. But I'm telling you about the energy of God when that apply in your body and that upon you, like Isaiah 61. I'm telling you that it says the Spirit of the Lord is upon me. What it means is that the energy of God is upon me. Sanctified, yes, I am saved. Yes, I'm sanctified. Yes, I am saved. Yes, take a phone, take a phone, catch this song. I'm sanctified. Yes, I am saved. This is all God give me song. And you know the artist, so I, 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 I take new songs as a part. I'm saved. When you connect with someone, 
right now, Jesus, you will turn your blindness into bitterness. When you connect with someone who is not in Christ, they will turn your joy and goodness into poverty. If you are lost, now, and you can't find your way, turn to Jesus.
Jesus, come into your house of the Lord. Of your dearly. Come with your ties and your 
offering. Give unto God. My cry. Hear my cry. Hey, hear my cry. Yes, hear my. Oh, da 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 da. Hear my. Oh, da da. Hear my. Shot when he's ready. 
because he must be the head and not the tail. Because he's a faithful young man. And he has been here Sunday after Sunday. He now get paid for him do. But he come faithfully. And he work for the honor glory of God. Come on, rise on your feet. And say God bless him. In a body, but in here in a spirit, and in call me and he says, Mr. the Father, Mr. Sorry, you know, Mr. Sorry, I could have felt his heart. And so, we have to ask God to bless him, to bless him again, God. Don't stretch hands towards them. The trauma, where they are the trauma, me, Lord Jesus, where they are the trauma. All right, say, so Lord, bless them. So bless them, Lord. Bless them. So bless them, Lord. So bless them. So bless the worship team. So bless them. They are doing a wonderful job. Wonderful job. Very wonderful job. They are doing so great. They are doing a wonderful job. Don't touch. Good job. They are doing a wonderful job. I bless the offering and the tithes from the bottom of my heart. I bless the tithes for the in Jesus' name. It must be blessed over oh one. Press down, shake him together. Fly and run it over. God must pour in that everyone. Are you bosom? I bless you and oh Lord, I bless them and provide for them, Lord. Oh, yeah. Bless their hands. I bless their hands. As I bless this offering, oh Lord. I bless their hands. Oh, I bless their hands, Lord. Yeah. I bless their hands. Oh, no, no, no. I bless their hands. 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 In Jesus' name, I bless their hands.
first time? Anyone is here for the first time? We don't have any visitors today, but we have one for, the, for one visitors. Ah, gentlemen, man of God, stand for yourself. Just tell us who invite you, I think. That's the principle. I know, I know it's me invite you. I, 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 I love your wife. But um, just tell us still. Elvin Ramsey. Amen. It's not so much. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a few words, man. So it's not a problem. But, but, but just a Lord bless him. It's a Lord bless him. Lord bless him. Lord bless him. Lord bless him. Bless him. Bless Bless the Lord. Oh, any birthday today? Any birthdays today? Ooh. Any birthdays? Yeah. Today. Come. Oh. Yeah. It's probably off for many times. So bless Malik. Bless Malik. Bless Malik. Oh, we are not feeling blessed. We feel the shot. Never hear anybody else love you though. No one die your heart yet today. Love God. Oh, God bless Malik. today some membership forms I know that um, the forms has been delayed amen and uh, we didn't get a chance to do so amen now we've cut the social media in Jesus name God bless you all we we'll see you next week Tuesday amen and um, Thursday and Friday night for all night prayer meeting God bless you in Jesus name amen.